What's up guys? We're going to be troubleshooting CenturyLink modems to make your services better. Alright, so obviously you know the basic stuff. Just plug it into the power. Let's pretend that we got a DSL cord, aka a phone cord, plugged in to the DSL spot. Yours will be color coded green, because right now I'm using a green screen and it just takes out all the green. So that means you can't see the lights, What? Well, obviously for the power, but that will start turning green, or well, you can kind of see it. But, so once you get the DSL cord, here's a little visual. You're going to want to plug it directly into the phone jack of the wall. I'm pointing at myself. There we go. Hand coordination. I'm using my screen to look at myself. So, no filters, no splitters, directly into the wall. Then, the phone line, if you got home phone services, you can put it in right there directly into the phone no filters or splitters for that just you're good to go I promise now let me go ahead and disable my green screen so you can see the lights we well, can barely see the lights so I'm just gonna get rid of this visual and also get rid of the effects oh disappeared wait for it wait for it coming right back maybe maybe not Aha! Okay, there we go. So, let's just pretend everything's plugged in here. Let me just start off from bottom and start all the way again. So, the power light, your modems are going to be different designed, but the functionality is the same. So, this power light will go green. It does a health check to make sure it's getting the correct voltage. If it's not, it will turn red. Now that will turn green, solid green here, momentarily. Then it'll work on the DSL light. So once the DSL light has a solid connection uh, into the phone jack, awesome. If it goes red, that means it's not plugged in, or you have a wiring problem on the phone cord, uh, move it to another phone jack, and if it's, it could be an outside problem as well. So that's when you call up Central like, hey, uh, I got a red DSL light, send out a technician for, uh, for me, please. They'll be more than happy to do that. Why not? Because you're paying for them. Anyways. Now, let's just say that turns solid green. It's going to turn red. But let's say it turns solid green. Then it'll work onto the internet light. And once the internet light turns solid green, it'll start flickering or become solid green. Either or. Green is good. Red is... <laughs> but if the internet light turns yellow... That means you need to put in the PPP credentials or the PPP OE. Yeah, I know. PP. Get your mind out together. Anyways, if it does turn yellow, yellow, call up CenturyLink, tell them I need my creds pushed. Or uh, say I need my PPP or PPP OE credentials. Then I'll be posting links down below how to fix the yellow light. If you're having slow internet speeds, or for example, if you have all green lights, it's still red, I know. If it's all green lights, and you can't browse the internet, I want to be showing you some tips and tricks of how to change that, and it can, and obviously it can be for CenturyLink, for Cox Communication, for Comcast, aka Xfinity, um, so it's not just always bound to CenturyLink. This is just a basic, simple troubleshooting step of how to get your services up and running. But again, uh, if everything is green, check the links down below. There'll be more troubleshooting videos of how to get your internet working faster. And I'll be also going into the modem, show the functionality of it, how you can tweak your wireless settings, how to change your Wi-Fi password and Wi-Fi username, how to change the channels if you're in an apartment. And if you change the channels, you'll see more of that promising speed. Your signal bars will go up. So I can, I'm going to be posting videos down below again. So check that out. This is fairly simple. Um, also, if you guys like my videos, uh, other hand, if you like my videos, you know, I'm on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, Twitch, and Snapchat. So many social media. But like this video, subscribe. Support me, support you, more videos for the entire world for education. Anyways, thank you for being awesome. Alright, peace out.